Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgos, Moon, Sun, and Rising. I do want to give out a big shout out to all my Virgos out there. You guys were one of the top uh, signs with the most views um, and or comments. So you are being um, uploaded with the rest of the first four. Uh, so kudos to you guys. For those of you guys who have contacted me, uh, came to me for spell work, candle magic, um, private consultations, thank you guys very, very much. Uh, thank you. It truly humbles me to see how quickly you guys are helping me grow my channel. Um, you know, I, I'm very appreciative of that. Uh, and I'm very, very thrilled, <laughs> very excited uh, to get, you know, feedback from you guys, letting me know you guys are getting quick results. That is always the intention when you guys come to me in regards to spell work or candle magic. So definitely, definitely good things to come. Uh, if you guys are interested in private consultations, look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there. Also, those of you guys that have uh, recently sent me messages, please be a little bit patient. I have been extremely busy as we always get prepared. Um, the end of the year is always the busiest for us, but this year, uh, blessed be, I <laughs> was extremely busy by September. So, um, you know, again, my channel keeps growing. Thanks to all of you guys who watch. Uh, subscribe like my videos thank you guys very very much uh, but as you know my channel continues to grow um, and people decide to follow me on different social media outlets uh, you know I get messages from everywhere so just be patient please um, so anyways let's get into this reading this is love reading for Virgos I have been shuffling uh, quite a while before I started the recording uh, just to let you guys know one of the cards popped out already so let's get into this reading for Virgos uh, Sun Moon and Rising let's see what spirit has for you guys for the middle of the month of November 2017 um, I will be pulling out four cards for you and then four cards in regards to your partner the person you're dealing with and the general uh, relationship si situation at the present time so let's get into it let's see what spirit has for you guys what are the messages for Virgos November 2017. Okay, let's get into this reading. So your first card that popped out was the Eight of Pentacles, the Death card, whoa, the Tower, and the Emperor. These are your cards. Um, Virgo, your partner's cards, the moon, six of pentacles, nine of pentacles, and the full card. Okay, and let me pull out your current situation. Spirit, please provide current situation card representing Virgos for the middle of the month of November regarding the love for okay. All right, general energy or current situation. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so Ten of Pentacles as a general um, or the current situation uh, for you Virgos in regards to love and romance. Uh, Ten of Pentacles definitely represents the home. So a lot of you guys are either very connected to the family. Of course, the holidays are here. Um, you know, it, it's, you know, being in union or, or being in the family dynamic or being surrounded by family members, uh, getting guidance from them, um, you know, it can also represent, um, for some of you guys, it can also represent uh, your partner dealing with um, their family or wanting to go out, uh, spend holidays with their family. If perhaps uh, last year it was your family, etc. cetera. Um, it's a very beautiful card um, in regards to uh, the really when it comes to love and romance because it does represent the stability or the wanting of stability in this relationship for those of you guys who have been in a long-term committed relationship so anyways let's get into your reading um, <clears throat> Virgo so you do have the eight of pentacles the eight of pentacles obviously represents uh, these are your cards the first four in the top so you are looking towards wanting to attain or wanting to achieve Perhaps some of you guys, you've been working a little bit extra hard more than usual. Uh, the death card does symbolize an ending cycle. And next to the tower, um, 
there is major transformation or major change happening at the present time. Um, the tower usually represents, when it comes out in a reading, it usually represents it's already happened, but because the death card is right next to it, it can represent um, that it will unfold um, by the end of the month, probably first week of December. So in regards to love and romance, for those of you guys that are currently single, perhaps there was... Um, Perhaps you met a person in the work field as you do have the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, which represent Pentacles represent business and finances, but it can also represent tied or links to the business uh, in regards to love and romance. Um, for some of you guys, again, like I said, that recently uh, broke a relationship. It could have been having to do with uh, someone you met at work. It just didn't work out. Or perhaps you found out that this person was actually married. Uh, the reason I say that is because you, they do have the moon down here and the emperor card. So the emperor usually represents structure and stability. So it could have been both ways um, or it could have gone both ways again, like I said. Now the death card and the tower mirroring one another definitely represents a major transformation in regards to your love and romance. Perhaps you guys are currently dealing uh, with the emperor could represent an Aries sign, uh, a fire element, uh, someone that's very... A structured someone that is they're not lazy they don't put up with laziness and I feel that for some of you guys it could have been a challenge uh, I feel this is a new person okay this is not a person from the past please note that uh, this is a new energy as the death card does represent endings but it also represents new beginnings next to the tower there is a devastation or there's going to be news coming out in regards to family uh, Virgos and the reason I say that again a ten of pentacles is the general situation and the death and the tower definitely represents a separation or a breakup in regards to the family so it could um, it could also represent that you guys are going to be dealing with it could also represent your partner's uh, family as well. Please note that. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, the death card definitely speaks to me. Next to the tower definitely speaks to me about uh, a very sudden, uh, quick ending. And it has a lot to do um, with, again, you know, the tower is very destructive. It could be very destructive. And I don't see it in any shape, way, or form positive um, because the death is mirroring the tower card. So I don't mean this as devastation, physical death, um, but I mean this in the sense of death in regards to the ending of a, of a marriage as the emperor is here. It can also represent, um, you know, next to the tower, it could represent the family dynamics. So what I mean by that is if your part, uh, sorry, if your father or if your mother have been single for a while, it could be. Uh, that you guys find out that that he's been seeing someone else or that she's been seeing someone else uh, the family doesn't you know may not agree to that uh, or you guys may feel iffy about that in regards to um, them starting new um, but it's definitely something that is going to be sudden it's unexpected now for other Virgos those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship perhaps you find out uh, that the person you know your partner was actually connected with someone in the workplace um, and it's very sudden and it's very quick but based on what's happening it can also represent that there was or that you chose uh, to end this relationship and to walk away for some it could be a very very long-term um, relationship it could have been over 10 years and there is an ending uh, and it's very quick and very sudden i do see new beginnings for you guys as you do have the full card under here but in the Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles always represents the business. It always represents the workplace and, you know, the effort that that goes into uh, the workplace. But under it is the moon. And the moon speaks to me about a lot of hidden things or a lot of um, people not being completely honest or truths coming out. And the reason I say coming out is because the moon doesn't represent it coming out unless the next card is there that you know symbolizes that um but with the death and the tower there's definitely destruction of what illusion was uh meaning there will be some type of um clarity in regards to this or things coming out in the open um where you decide or your partner decides to walk away from this relationship the six of pentacles here right under the death card symbolizes the ending of overgiving or overtaking um, so it could have, it could be, you know, that, um, 
if it was you the one that was always trying to work the relationship out for some of you guys it could represent that you find out that the reason why your partner wasn't as invested in the relationship or wasn't as interested putting the effort to make the relationship work could be you know out of the news of devastation that they were in fact being with someone else in the workplace um again like i said as a six of pentacles definitely speaks about the give and take or usually represents not giving enough or you're the one that's taking too much next to the moon the reason why they weren't putting the effort or the reason why they weren't putting enough uh time consistency whatever it may be has to do with the fact that they were keeping things hidden from you okay um now they now the nine of pentacles is right under the tower so that's the reason why i'm saying uh, the nine of pentacles definitely represents singlehood uh, right next to the tower is based off of destruction or chaos. Uh, the person or you will find yourself in a, uh, you know, you will find yourself single, you know. So again, like I said, for some of you guys, it's the ending of a very chaotic type of energy, very chaotic relationship, especially those that have been together for over 10 years, um, unfortunately. But the tower... Uh, symbolizes again like I said tower is always about destruction it's something very sudden very unexpected um, you know basically chaos because that it's it's that moment of what you thought your life was has basically you know came tumbling down your illusion or your idea or perception of it has completely changed but in that change um, the nine of pentacles representing your singlehood or their singlehood or the choice of wanting to become single um, is was for the better or the higher good of yourself um, or, you know, a relative or family member that, you know, recently uh, has been separated based off of the fact that there was some cheating involved. So, again, um, it could be tied to the family as the Ten of Pentacles was the central issue. Um, so for some of you guys, it could be, you know, your situation or it could involve someone very dear and close to you. It could be, you know, again, like I said, a father, a mother, um, you know, a sister, a brother, that type of energy. Now, the Emperor right under the full card, the Emperor is a very structured energy, okay? It's an energy of a person that... Um, is very organized knows exactly what they want um you know and is not afraid to go out there and, and make things happen on their own they don't really rely on other people um or the emperor doesn't really rely on other people but if need be the people are very willing to help because they 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 love helping um and mostly has to do with because the emperor energy is a person uh that is very strong tempered but it's someone very compassionate as well. So they're very logical in their thinking and in their process, or even when you deal with other people, um, uh, again, not very sensitive, but they are compassionate. They do have a, you know, a warm heart. Um, but again, under the emperor, the full card is here. So there's new beginnings. Now, the death and the full together in this spread, there's definitely endings for Virgos. Whether it was a long-term committed relationship over 10 years, there's definitely an ending. And the destruction of it or the destruction of the relationship that no longer serves you. The full card here is a promise for new beginnings. Now, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, again, Ten of Pentacles, family dynamic is very tight or very close at the present time. But the Eight of Pentacles right under the moon, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a... Uh, cancer others of you you may be dealing with another earth sign which would be a capricorn um, a taurus or a virgo like yourself for others it could be an aries um, as you do have the emperor and the fool which represent aries so again or a scorpio the death card is definitely here so again i see a lot of um, a lot of signs here so basically for those of you guys that are currently single um you are for some of you guys, maybe you guys currently started working. Um, you're not that excited or that motivated about the job you're doing. It's almost like you have to do it based off responsibility. Uh, the moon under it does signify um, people showing you a certain face or facade that they're not. That's not really who they are. So be very careful with that. Okay. 
because the death card and the tower can represent the ending or getting fired of a position having to do with the six of pentacles is the charity card but it also represents the giving and taking and someone usually takes advantage so it could be you trusting in an, you know another co-worker and you give them or you know tell them your story or give them a secret or something and they make it be known um, and it actually comes back to the managers, superiors, and it actually affects you. So again, like I said, either way, the death card and the tower is a positive because the nine of pentacles is here and the full card. So what this represents or is symbolizing is that even though uh, whatever chaotic energy or whatever chaotic situation you're going through at the present time, know and understand that it has to do with timing and with universe this has nothing to do with the everyday type of energy this is more celestial um so there's definitely a lesson to learn <clears throat> and that lesson um with the moon is you have to see past illusions or stop falling for people that sell you illusions the death card you need to let go of the past or what no longer serves you and move forward if the tower is presented in a reading it represents that there was a reason for the destruction of it uh, because there was no stability or you were building on basically you know uh, sand castles um, so it had to come down in order for you to start uh, you know start building on something more solid um, and again with the emperor and the fool there's structure coming in and there's new opportunities uh, for you guys in regards to love and romance now again like i said for those of you guys that are single at the present time uh, I may I do see a person coming in for you guys as the fool is here and it's under the emperor so for some it could be a uh, directly an Aries okay but I do see all the signs here so it could go either way it is a general reading I hope you guys enjoyed this reading like uh, share comment if you haven't subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe and if you're interested in private consultations look at the description box uh, below we will see each other soon bye